Hi guys, welcome to another Munch Pack video. This is September 2022. And hopefully this box is a good one. We'll start like we always do with the Did You Know Mexico? I hope I have this. I think I'm getting these again. These are good, but we'll get to that in a minute. Did You Know Mexico? According to the World Tourism Organization reports, Mexico is the Latin American country with the highest number of international visitors. And then it says, Did You Know Turkey? The real Santa Claus was born in the town of Patara on the southwest coast of Turkey between the years of 260 and 280 A.D. Let's see what we have in this bunch. We do have the pizza rollers. I'm happy about that, so let's go right on into it. I have had these before. And they were so good that I bought some through Amazon. Basically what these chips are... Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Basically what these chips are, Doritos Pizza Rollas. In the 90s, there was a great snack that everyone loved called Pizzerias or something like that. And they got discontinued. And supposedly, the company that had the recipe for them, Doritos, bought them. And this is only released in Mexico. It is not released anywhere else. You can't get it in the U.S. You can buy them on Amazon, though. But the Doritos Pizza Rollas. Witness the creation of the Dorito Pizza Combo with these triangular-shaped chips that are exclusive to Mexico. This fusion is filled with a rich flavor. Now, these are great. I love them. So that's a good start to the day. Good start to the box. All right, these look good. We have the Basili... Bisley Falafel Flavored Wheat Snacks. This is from Israel. You can tell because I can read Hebrew. But, where are they? They're right here. Awesome Bisley Falafel Flavor, right over here. Munch on these tasty wheat crackers to experience the crunch from Awesome. Taste their super yummy falafel flavor today. So that's, I'll try them. This I don't know. This one I don't know. It looks like cheese and onion. Etty cracks. And I'm going to go with no on this, if it's what I think it is. Let's see, where are they? Interesting. I don't even know what this is. It's not even... Oh, here they are. Yeah, cheese and onion from Turkey. Spice up your crunch life with these savory cheese and onion sticks that explode in a delicious, salty flavor. So that's a definite no. Next up, we have the Grizeski Gofri. This looks decent. We'll see what this is all about. Let's see. This is from... Oh, here it is. From Poland, the Goplana Vanilla Chocolate Wafer with Hazelnut Pieces. So that's a definite yes. A crisp wafer loaded with rich vanilla chocolate cream and sprinkled with crunchy hazelnut bits for the perfect blend of sweetness and texture. So that's a yes. So far, so good with this box. Kool-Aid Fruity Chews. Three fruity flavors. Tropical Punch, Cherry, and Grape. Mm, let's take a look. So, here they are. They're from Germany and Turkey. We have either Kinder Cards or the Kool-Aid Fruity Chews. So we ended up getting the Kool-Aid Fruity Chews. Enjoy two different flavors of cocoa or vanilla in a crunchy card-shaped wafer. Or taste authentic fruity Kool-Aid flavors in a gummy. Okay. If they're a gummy, that's good. If they're hard chews, I'm not going to be happy. So that's good. That's four of them. This looks like gum, peach gum, which I'm not really a gum person. I used to be. Peach is a good flavor, though. From South Korea, Crown Sacum Dalcum Assorted Flavors. Enjoy some variety in your sugar rush with this assorted pack, which includes grape, strawberry, and peach. Taste the bold flavors offered today. Again, I... I want to say that this is gum. 
Yeah. So, no. Then we have the Chocolato Center Filled Chocolate Cookies. This looks very good. This is from Pakistan. Biscani Chocolato, right here. The ultimate hidden treasure is the delightfully smooth and delicious chocolate cream inside the center of this crispy cookie. Unlock a new sensation with every bite. Then we have a Chicky Caramel. Now, again, I've said before, it looks like there says six cookies in here. I've said before that I'm not a, opposed to caramel, but in light doses. I can have them in Rolos. I can have them in Twix. I can have them when they're mixed with other flavors. When they're just by themselves, caramel, it's a tricky, tricky spot. So I'm going to try these, see what they're all about. From Costa Rica, right here. Satisfy your coffee snack craving with this blissful, smooth, caramel-filled biscuit cookie. I'll try it. We have lemon wafer bites. This is a big maybe. Dolcetto Petites. I'm not a big lemon fan. Um, they're from Italy. This bite-sized zesty wafer is ideal for citrus lovers. The rich lemon cream is sandwiched with crisp cookie shells. I'll try them. I'll try it. And then we have the Sour Power Assorted Wide Belts. Assorted wide belts in four flavors, strawberry, green apple, blue raspberry, and tutti frutti. I'll try them. My mouth is already watering. From the Netherlands, right over here. A burst of sour goodness in tutti frutti flavored strips featuring strawberry, green apple, and blue raspberry fruitness that is guaranteed to be a delight. Okay. So far, this has been a pretty, pretty good box. Only two snacks out of the... 10 are a no-go, so that means we have an 80% box here. Can't really go wrong with that. What we didn't get, obviously, because we don't have family packs, is the UH, UHA Mikakuto Pucho Melon. I'm not happy, I'm not mad we didn't get them. Lay's India's Magic Masala Chips. Uh, that's a no. Pasquez Zillion's Fruit Punch and Lemonade Flavor. That would have been a maybe. Ulker Crispy Crackers Hot Flavor. Chili Pepper, that would have been a no. The Pasquez Fruit Zips Duo Cherry and Green Apple Flavor. Maybe. The Ulker Can Pear Chocolate Flavor. These looks like biscuit cookies. I would have loved that. Colby Jagapea Ketchup Flavor. Potato Sticks. I would have tried them. Gil Glico Pretz Sour Cream and Onion Flavor Sticks. I would have tried those. Paskiz Twigs Onion Flavor. That's a no. And the Allian Volume Waffle Mosaic Cake with Chocolate Sauce. That looks incredible. Wow. So that's really the only one I'm kind of bummed we didn't get. And then the soda is from Japan. It is the Fuji Green Apple Ramun Soda. I think we've had this before. Sip on the Sweet Apple Flavored Green Colored Soda for a stylish experience with an unforgettable refreshing taste due to its unique marble seal design. And yes, I uh, we tried this before and I forgot that with this type of soda you have to punch in here and it drops in I believe and then you can drink it. Ramoon, Ramuni carbonated. How many calories does this have? 79, not bad. Could be worse. All right. So let's get started. Let's try... I'm going to start with these lemon bites, because I already know the Doritos are going to be great. So let's try with these, these lemon bites here. Interesting. Okay, this is what they look like.
They're not bad. They're not offensive, which is good. So I'm happy. They're not bad. I wouldn't rush out to the store and buy them, but they're not bad. All right, let's try the caramel biscuits here. Oh boy. Looks like they were fused together here. The saving grace of these is the buttery biscuit flavor. The buttery biscuit saves this, for me at least, because you're not really getting that offensive caramel flavor. But I could definitely see why people would dip these in coffee or something like that. Okay. Let's try these gummies. They call them gummies. I have a bad feeling that they're not. I'll just drop one on the ground. This has got to be cherry. Alright, let's try it. Let's try the grape. Cherry was horrific. Okay, I only got two grape, which is a ripoff. Although the grape was better, it wasn't that much better. These, the cherries have got to be the worst ones. The problem is, I don't know what's cherry and what's fruit punch. Let's assume tropical punch are the lighter red ones. Let's assume. Yep. Okay, that was, that was pretty bad. Those were bad. All right, let's try the Biscani Chocolatos. This is what it looks like. These are not that good. They're not terrible, but they're not good.
All right. <clears throat> Let's try the falafel wheat snacks. Oh, they're very, very thin. Very thin. And they definitely taste like falafel. Okay. Let's try this go free. It feels like this got crunched somehow and it's going to be broken up into pieces. Let's see. Yeah, it's a wafer here. Okay. This is what it looks like. So, this is why you never judge a book by its cover. Sometimes you can prejudge in a negative way, right? But sometimes you can prejudge in a positive way. And when opening up this box, we found out that eight of the ten snacks are something I would enjoy eating. And really, maybe one and a half of the snacks out of the eight were worth writing home about. Let's try these sour power things. We, we know what to expect with this. But let's just try it. Let's try the, the red one here. Okay, these are good. Yeah. I'm not going to eat the Tutti Frutti, though. Or the Blue Raspberry. But Strawberry and Green Apples, yes. Oh, wow, these are sour. This is good. Oh. Wow. 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 That's sour. They are not messing around, I can tell you that. Here's another one. That clears the nostrils out.
last but not least, Let's see if I can even open this correctly. <coughs> uh, there's a fucking bug. It's supposed to. Oh boy, everything's falling down now. says place the opener at the top press down with your palm I don't know what the hell they're talking about here I don't have an opener oh I'm an idiot here we go did it. Look at me. Look at me. So the marble comes down. This comes out. And let's taste it. Let's see how it, how it tastes. if you can see but that's the marble <clears throat> this soda is not that good so That is September's Munch Pack. Started out promising, but ended in a, I would give it a C- as a grade. The wafer with the hazelnut pieces was pretty good. The Doritos are obviously good. The Sour Powers were good. But the rest of the items were either so-so or not good. And that is that. I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said in the pickups video, um, I will be doing the Dark Crystal Bestiary uh, book. I have some other things coming on the way as well. In November, we have the God of War Ragnaroks. We'll have an unboxing for the Collector's Edition. I just pre-ordered Assassin's Creed Mirage Collector's Edition. That'll come out sometime next year. And I did have a request to do... A Darren Sean library video so I will be doing that also thank you for watching guys and we will see you next time bye